Hi everyone, so as you know throughout this month I'm making how-to videos and it's just to give you short tips on how-to in different areas um, of life and some common issues that people face. So in this video I want to talk about how to overcome social anxiety. So I've made quite a lot of videos on my YouTube channel Marianne Hansen Counselling Service about dealing with anxiety and there are lots of different types of anxiety as well. There's social anxiety, sometimes there's situational, um, circumstantial, general anxiety um, and they're all linked with different things. Social anxiety in a nutshell is where people struggle with anxiety when they have to be around either groups of people or in social settings. This can be at parties, this can be at meetings, this can be at festivals, anywhere where there is either. And it can also be where you um, know the person or where you don't. Lots of the misconceptions are that people are only get socially anxious when they're around strangers, but you can actually feel social anxious, um, socially anxious if you're at a big family gathering where there's lots of people who you know as well. So these are just five quick tips that I'm gonna give you today. The first one is to embrace yourself as a unique individual and see others as the same as you. We're all part of the human race. So if you have that philosophy where you say, well, why am I feeling nervous and so around people when they're just people? They're the same as me. It doesn't matter if it's the boss of your company. It doesn't matter if it's someone important. You have to get it down to that same level. You're unique, they're unique. We're all the same and I think that will lessen some of the anxiety around um, worrying about what to say, worrying about what they're going to think of you, worrying about you know if they're in superior to you. It's about bringing it down to the same level. We're all just human beings. The second one is to put yourself in situations where you test yourself. Lots of people with anxiety or even social anxiety avoid the situation so they say, well, I feel anxious when I drive on motorways or I feel anxious when um, I'm in meetings and stuff. So what they do is they avoid those situations and there's lots of research to say that if you avoid the thing that's making you anxious, then you continue to feel anxious. What you need to do is expose yourself to those situations more and more so that you become used to them, you be, they become normalized. So make yourself go to that party, make yourself speak up first at the meeting because the more you do it, what you'll realize then is that, you know, what's the worst that's gonna happen? your anxiety levels are gonna rise, but if you keep doing it, maybe your anxiety levels will go down because you'll be familiar with it. The third one is to prepare in advance, have an exit plan, have a strategy of what you're gonna do. So think to yourself, if you're going to a party or a first date or anything which is causing you social anxiety, you could say to yourself, if things get too tough after an hour, I'm gonna leave, make my excuses and leave. Um, you can say these are the types of conversations I'm going to have. Maybe think about things which are not so you don't have to go into too much detail about but that you're passionate about and that you have lots of information on. That's always, if I think about going on a first date, I try to think or go in, you know, on in an interview situation, I try to think what am I going to um, ask? If they say, have you got any questions? How am I going to be on this date? What are some conversation starters? Maybe it's about a programme you've watched recently. Maybe it's something you're passionate about. The third thing as well in this category is to visualize yourself actually being in that situation. There's lots of research around visualization as a really effective tool. And all it means is that you visualize your best version of yourself in that situation and you visualize that situation coming out in a positive way. So I've done this lots of times for interviews. I've done this when I've had to go on long journeys. I've visualized it being, visualized it being a smooth journey. I've visualized me listening to music in the car. I've visualized the, being at the interview and everyone loving me and saying, yes, you've got the job. So you can do it with social anxiety as well. The fourth thing is to use strategies. So you've got, have some strategies in place for if things become too much. So there are things like grounding. Grounding um, is, the grounding technique is very, um, you know, commonly used for anxiety. So if you Google that, then it will come up. It's basically um, five things. It's using your senses and it's five, four, three, two, one, using your hear, hear, touch, smell, um, see. So there's a lot of um, good information online about that. So it's things like that. Also familiarization. So you can, if you're at an event and you're feeling socially anxious, you probably will gravitate towards the people that you know, and that's fine. And some people will say, well, I don't wanna spend the whole evening just with people I know, I want to get over this social anxiety. Well, you can take it step by step if you wanna expose yourself in the sense of, um, you know, saying, right, I'm gonna get stuck in there, then go and walk across the room to a complete stranger and start a conversation. For most people with social anxiety, they're not gonna be able to do that. So start with 
um, familiarization people you know places that you know um you know and then if you it, once you get used to that um socializing in those um, arenas then you can move on to things that are completely different and the fifth and final thing is to access therapy there is lots of um therapists that specialize in working with social anxiety i'd say the majority of um, counselors are aware that social anxiety is something that lots of people struggle with so they can give you strategies they can also help you to just talk about it how it impacts on you how you feel they can set homework tasks if you go to a cbt therapist they will definitely te um, test you probably put give you little tasks to do but yeah that's they're my five tips really social anxiety is something that's becoming more and more um, common especially during covid i think after covid ended the, after the pandemic lots more people were feeling socially anxious um with understandably so let me know what you guys think i'd love to hear your thoughts on this thanks for watching and i will continue these how-to tips throughout september